Some of you are cold today and you might want to get used to it. A sudden stratospheric warming event is on the table. I'll tell you what that means. As cold air continues to build across the Arctic, it may get lodged south, causing big cold. Snow signals also increasing for parts of the central and eastern United States and some long range modeling, which also is indicating some pretty cold air. Plus where it's cold today and where it's snowing and what you can expect. We're gonna start really high up in the stratosphere. The red, the oranges, kind of this whitish lava looking color that shows where the warm air is way up in the stratosphere. And when you warm things up in the stratosphere, you start to disrupt how this Arctic air behaves at the surface. And usually after this happens, you start to put some really cold air down into North America. And this to me is a, an extremely strong signal of a cold blast that's ahead. We saw this last year at the end of December that ended up dumping some really cold air down into North America in January. This is a telltale sign and we're seeing it again. And even the GFS is picking up on some cold air that's starting to develop way to the north. It's going to turn cold again too. We're going to get some cold shots, but this cold that's lurking it for December could be really impressive. We're starting to see the snow areas shift, right? So look, here's where we are right now. This is the extended European. It's not going to be exactly accurate where the snow is going to fall, but I want you to see the trend as we head toward the end of the month into December, right? Look how this shifts toward the central, toward the eastern and the northeastern United States. I think that's going to be the trend heading into December. Cold air is lifting out of the east. Another cold pocket of air in the mid-levels moving into the west. That's going to bring some disturbed weather, some rain, some snow, maybe a storm as it starts to develop across the plains. More to come, but this is a look at the ensemble guidance. It does flatten out. That's why it doesn't look as dramatic the further you go out in time. But I think this is pretty dramatic looking. These lines are getting more curved out of the northwest as we head into December. This is getting stronger and stronger every day that I look at it. To me, this signals a cold December start that lines up with what we're seeing in the stratosphere with this warming taking place as we reverse the winds. And also something to note, as we head into December, there is just so much blocking showing up here in Greenland. When you see this, you disrupt what's happening at the North Pole and you start to bring that cold air south. You can also bring it across the North Pole from Siberia, which by the way, it's getting really cold over here. So once we tap into that, it's game on. I think this is going to be an impressive winter ahead. If this sounds interesting to you, I hope you'll subscribe. I'm going to be tracking every snowstorm as we go through the winter. If you're brand new, many years ago, I worked in TV. I was a chief meteorologist. So come back and subscribe. I'm a weather geek at heart, so if that's you, let's track all of this craziness together. Here's where we are today. In the mid-levels, cold air flowing across the Great Lakes at the surface and aloft. That's bringing in some chilly temperatures into the northeast. It's going to stay cold here. Warmer, though, across the southern plains down into the southeast, we'll start to see warmer temperatures, especially the further west you go into Mississippi and Arkansas and Louisiana. The lake effect's going to continue. If anything, it's starting to spin a little bit more westerly and then here comes the next storm plowing into the northwest with rain snow and wind now the gfs has been a little bit different than the european this is the gfs it's a little colder but they're both similar in cutting this low off versus keeping this amplified with this trough to the north that means maybe not such a strong storm however we're still going to get some precipitation some rain some snow across the southwest the four corner states it's on the way and then another piece of energy moves into the Pacific Northwest. The last couple of runs into the Northeast have been showing some type of wintry event heading into next weekend. I'm backing this up and running it back and forth. I want to show you a little bit of a different look in the overnight run. The early morning run of the GFS, which I don't put a lot of stock in, has a very similar look. If you were to go back to yesterday's midday run, you still had your storm into the Northeast, your snow and wind and rain, but it definitely looked a little bit different. And now we're getting pretty far out in time, right? We're looking seven, eight, nine days out. I think we're going to be pretty active with a storm track that continues to go just like this with more chances for wind, rain, snow, maybe even some severe weather. We'll start across the west. This is going to have implications on our weather further to the east through the week. Wind and snow picking up across the Sierra. This cutoff low looks like it's headed straight for Southern California. So some rain across this region. It's not going to be your typical big storm that rolls in, but you're definitely going to see some precipitation. And some of that snow could get heavy into the Wasatch, into the Colorado Rockies. This is the European, a lot warmer all across the board with not as much snow. I don't know. I'm kind of leaning in the GFS camp on this type of setup. More to come. 
Here's a look at your temperatures today. Pretty mild out here, and it's going to stay pretty warm too over the next couple of days as a decent ridge holds on across this region until that next storm crashes in. It's cold across the east today. This is about as good as it's going to get in many of these areas with highs stuck near or below freezing. We are warming back up into the 50s, though, across the deep, deep south. Tomorrow, temperatures start to rebound quite nicely. We'll be back up into the 60s, close to D.C., Cincinnati, in the mid-50s, Indianapolis. We may crack 50, and we'll see 60s expand across the Tennessee Valley. And that warmth continues to meander off to the north and east as we head through the week. By Friday, we're looking at 60s up into Minneapolis. And then by Saturday, goodbye to the snow that you saw around the Great Lakes, at least Lake Michigan, Lake Superior, and we'll start to see that warm air try to surge north. But look, another shot of cold air keeps it kind of chilly across the northeast and temperatures go back down. So while we are going to get a warm up, I don't think it's going to be an extended one that lasts just for weeks on end, as we showed you in the long range. Here's where the snow is going to be today. We'll see it downwind of the lakes as your coldest air loft moves away. You actually start to see some rain trying to mix in across Michigan into the UP even. It's just a little too warm at the surface. And then as we head into Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, that rain and snow sticks around into the northeast. It just stays unsettled across this region. Some rain tries to work back in a little more widespread with a warm front lifting north. And then as we head into the weekend, this is where the mess kind of shows up. This is the European. I showed you the GFS earlier. It also has the potential for that northeast ice, snow, something. And then behind it, wind spinning out of the northwest, and we pick up the lake effect again and then heading into next week who knows right we're looking really far out so more to come on this period across the central u.s sunshine warm temperatures beautiful late fall conditions i don't know is it late fall maybe mid fall we're getting close to late fall though as we head toward the end of the month into december for sure as we start to see more of a winter pattern meteorological winter starts in december december 1 that's because you start to see these winter like patterns really take shape by the end of november into december a little bit of some cool air moving back into the Great Lakes by the weekend. And there's that system across the southwest that we've already talked about. Here's your temperatures. This is the big this is the big story today across the Central Plains, back up into the 60s, even 70s, really warming up across Texas. Another cold night, but not as cold as it's been. We're back up into the 70s across the Red River Valley. North into Kansas, we're into the 60s. And where we've seen wind and snow and cold, we're back into the 40s across Minnesota. It's going to get even warmer as we head into Thursday. High temperatures, again, back up into the 60s across southern Minnesota, across South Dakota, and we stay warm across the southern plains into Texas, into the 70s and 80s, and the 70s are back across the deep south, across Mississippi, Alabama, uh, and even into Florida, which, by the way, Florida saw some really cold temperatures this morning. Highs today stuck in the 50s, way below average. Even if you look at that, we're talking about nearly 20 degrees below average, but even here, it's going to warm up. Another cold night tonight, but look at tomorrow. Back into the 60s, just like the rest of the Central Plains and the Deep South into Texas, we're starting to warm back up nicely 